Good morning, everyone. I've had a number of folks ask me later, or lately, about heating my greenhouse. And I use radiant heat from LP heaters. These are two that are on standby that hook to a 20 pound gas cylinder and they're all set up and I have another cylinder under the shed out there and that way if something should happen if I failed to notice that my tank was getting low or was empty or whatever I could hook them up to they'd at least be good for overnight to make sure that the I didn't lose all my plants they're 10,000 BTU and one thing I don't like about them is they are uh, their settings that whenever you set it to low or high that's where it is it doesn't come on and go off with the temperature it's just on whatever you set it on and my new ones the 18,000 BTU are the same way with the uh, the settings and you I have I've had the five that are mounted on several times now just making sure the pilots and everything works is all that I, I haven't turned them on to do any heating I tested them to see that they would come on and would burn I have two of these older ones here that I've heated with for years now and I've never set them all the way to the one. Originally, the other one that I moved that's behind me uh, was mounted over here on this, where this one is. And they heated the greenhouse before. And being radiant heat, I had one facing 16 foot that way towards the door. And this one facing the 16 foot this way. And being in a central position they did keep everything warm and uh growing and like i said that was just on a very low setting this is the other one and i now have them pointing towards like i said i plan on doing some rootings and so i have one on both sides of where i plan on putting my rooting boxes to ensure that they are kept nice and cozy during the winter being as far south as I am I have a lot of problems with heat accumulation and getting too hot and so that's the reason I put the shade cloth over and uh, still make sure I get all the light I need I put the reflective floor cover and that also helps keep from the black would sure build up the heat and get hot just having the five pilot lights on last night we were down according to my weather station to 40 degrees and at daylight whenever I came out my thermometers up here said it was 49 degrees so just the Little pilot lights had the temperature raised up 9 degrees just by themselves. And you can see in here it's still, still cool, rather nice. And I'm fixing to open up and go to work. So far, like I said, I haven't had to use the heaters other than just like I said, the pilot lights um, I'll experiment through the year or winter and whatever and watch what goes on and uh, see how much and which ones just having the two old ones up there turned on to keep my rooting bins warm I may not have to do more than just light the pilot lights. 
and them being in the center of the greenhouse like I said if it's if I need more then I can turn on a little bit more but these like I said they got the settings to where once they're on they're on and regardless of how warm it did happen to get in the greenhouse so it's going to be an experiment to see and I noticed a while ago whenever I come out looking that the uh, ginger was flowering so nice I just love seeing looks like a little orchid to me but I understand it's not not related or whatever but anyway the ginger is just really doing well I've got to get some galanga and some turmeric I was really hoping my turmeric would bloom some this year but it hasn't so far have mulberries on my mulberry trees and I usually do whenever I move them in. Beetle leaf, since I worked it a week or so, has really started putting on a lot of new growth and looking well. The thing about crowding up all my little kratoms in here and them being so thick is in watering some pots get down in here and the leaves shade them and it's hard to get some of them watered i gotta drag that baby around to where i know it gets wet today yabba mates are taking off and doing so well very pleased with the way the greenhouse has turned out and still have really good color on my shamrocks started trying to work out some of the stevia down here still have some more of it to do still have more things outside and I ain't getting none of it done making the videos but I like to try to share where I can I'm gonna still put the hibiscus I have a number of them that I want to get in but I'm gonna move my moringa I'm gonna cut it back today and uh, that's the project that's fixing to happen because I'm cooking a big pot of chicken and I'm going to boil my moringa seed pods, the drumsticks, in my chicken broth and I haven't done them that way, I just usually boil them in salt water and this time though I do have this, everything, the timing is right to do it that way with the chicken and we're going to try it that way and uh, I'll probably or I don't have, ain't no probably about it. I'm going, going to add some nice moringa leaves and all into my chicken soup. Give it a little more nutrients. And it has warmed up enough. Boy, the got, usually I've seen more honeybees today than I think I've seen all summer. And I do like to see them anyway that's what's going on for me today and I hope that's helpful to some of y'all this is the galanga let's see if that is a flower nope that was yep there's a little flower but it's not open much take a quick glance around and see if I see one that is open Oh, well, I wish I could share that, and maybe I'll catch it some other time when I'm doing a video and be able to share it. Blessings, all.